Hello, everybody, and welcome to 2K Sports. Along with Shaquille O'Neal, I'm Ernie Johnson. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Detroit Pistons as they go up against the Mavericks in Dallas. You take a look at the Mavericks. Nice job they've been doing over the last 10 games. Eight wins and not having too many problems. Hey, Shaq, when the Pistons hired Stan Van Gundy as the head coach, they also made him president. I mean, he's calling the shots there. What do you think? Well, he's a, you know, controlling type of guy, you know, uh, fits him very well. You, you know, you have to put him in a select category now. It's only a very few coaches that have complete control over basketball and decision. The other two are Popovich and Doc Rivers. It is almost game time here on 2K Sports. Time to turn it over to Kevin Harlan and company. Kevin. So Detroit will get the first possession. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. Monroe and Drummond there inside. Caldwell Pope out there with Jennings. And it's Singler in at the three. Here's Dallas. They're coming off that win against the Nets. And it was the role players uh, in that game, Kevin, that really led the charge. You know, the guys who normally don't score a lot, they came in and really contributed. A total team performance, Steve. The kind you need if you're going to win on the opponent's home floor. Mavs coach Rick Carlisle with over two decades of experience in the coaching ranks, now in his 13th season as a head coach. Now here's Jennings, averaging 14 points a game. Nice shot by Singler. And so it's Dallas with it. Outside Rondo. It's Ellis on the wing. To the left wing. Lock at six. Nowitzki dishes to Ellis. Let's the three fly. They grab their own miss. Nowitzki, no good. Well, the effort was there, but he just couldn't quite fight his way through traffic. Jennings with the ball. He's picked up by Rondo. Outside Jennings. Pass to Monroe. He trains it from the right block. Monroe's got his first basket of the night. Here's Rondo, averaging eight points a game. Ellis outside. Nowitzki sets a screen for Ellis. Over to the wing. Shoots a fader. Nowitzki shots good. Nowitzki's got his first two points. Well, nice way there to get your first basket of the game. Rondo against Jennings. Kicks it to Drummond. Monroe, the pass to Singler. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. An uptick in minutes last season for Andre Drummond. The, the Pistons had brought him along slowly, Clark, in his rookie season, much to the frustration of the Piston fan. You know what? It was the Pistons' training staff, though, Kevin, that pulled back the reins. They found he had some imbalances athletically that predisposed him to injury, so they wanted to be cautious with him. It looks like it's paying off. For Dallas, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. And for Drummond, you think about the stress on his joints, moving so quickly at his size. He needed to develop his core muscles to protect himself. And, you know, the trainer's caution was validated in year one when he ended up missing a couple of months with a fractured vertebra in his back. Karan Butler's checked in for Detroit. Here's Caldwell Pope. He's coming off a 10-point game against San Antonio. Jennings against Rondo. From about 19 feet, and it's Butler missing. And Drummond played starters minutes in year two. You have to give him a lot of credit. That young man stayed patient. He worked diligently, putting in the time with the training staff to improve his body and his conditioning. And that hard work prepared 
that big athletic body of his to be able to handle that additional workload. Now here's Ellis following the shot by Karan Barber. That gives them the lead. Ellis has got his second basket. It's going to be tough for the defense today. If he's got his A game rolling here tonight, we'll see. Outside Jennings. Passes it to Drummond. It's tipped, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. Let's now take a moment to view the league's leading rebounders. Second, Andre Drummond. Third is Tyson Chandler. I'll tell you what, we're lucky to get to watch two of the league's most outstanding rebounders on the same court today. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. So Detroit going with an almost entire new group here. Anthony's checked in for Andre Drummond. Nurebko comes in for Monroe. Jody Meeks, he's checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Brandon Jennings. JJ Barea, quick scoring guard, great attacking off of pick and rolls. And for his size, I'll tell you what, he has an impressive ability to finish around the rim. The Mavericks have missed both free throws they've attempted tonight. And as a club, they're kind of in the middle of the pack in the NBA in terms of their free throw shooting, about 76%. You know, the numbers from the line, guys, are close to where they were last year, but just a tad worse, so not too bad. Now, here is Augustine. They just worked San Antonio in that last game. Here's Anthony, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. And for Berea, at just six feet, a scrappy defender, Clark. He plays in close, and he's a master drawing charge. Yeah, you, you know, the league actually cracked down on him a little bit. One of the players singled out for flopping. And that's mitigated one of his best defensive weapons. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. And good. Coming in on the assist by D.J. Augustine. And here's Berea. Right now averaging seven points a game. Can't get it to fall. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss those. It's a tie game in Dallas. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Next Sunday, January 11th, Dwayne Wade and the Miami Heat take on Chris Paul and the Los Angeles Clippers. It's the real deal. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Mavericks? The defense was really impressive there, guys, in that first quarter. They came out focused right from the beginning. And, Steve, that's a big part of why they're on top right now. On the court for the Pistons, we've got Jody Meeks. Karan Butler is out there with Yurebko. Then there's D.J. Augustine. And it's Anthony in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now, here is Smith. No luck, they battle on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. Augustine against Jefferson. The dish to Butler. There's the feed to Anthony. Out to the right wing. Just five to shoot. They set the pick. And Augustine kicks to your rep go. We're going to look now at some of the stats, some of the numbers for Jody Meeks. Uh, the last month of basketball was for him, third in free throw percentage. And his three-point field goal accuracy has been really impressive. He's ranked in the top 15. You know, Steve, looking back at his top-notch free throw percentage, I mean, he's really calm and composed at the stripe. You can tell he's really comfortable there and has the confidence to knock down those shots at the line. He visualizes the shot, and then he knocks it home. And Dallas going with a whole new group out there. Nobody near Parsons. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Parsons got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Well, you know, the Mavericks got back into the playoffs last season after missing the playoffs in 13. And this is a team that expects to be a playoff factor. Aside from that one season, they've not missed the playoffs since 2000. Now here is single. Right now averaging seven points a game. 
<laughs> the lead changes hands once again. There has been no separation between these two teams tonight. What an intriguing basketball game, that's for sure. Jennings against Rundle. He feeds it to Parsons. Rondo is screen on single. Here's Nowitzki. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Nowitzki's got his second bucket of the game to go. And you look at the legacy of success for the Mavs, you have to go back to 2000 to find the last time they had a lose in the season. Even in 2013, in what they term a disappointing year, they went 500 in the cutthroat Western Conference. Pretty impressive. And he gets the bucket. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. You know what? Can you believe there have been seven lead changes already, guys? Wow. Yeah, we're still in the first half. I mean, the way this thing is going, this could turn into a wild one. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? Well, thanks, Kevin. Andre Drummond fell to the ninth pick in 2013 on concerns about his passion for the game. Two years later, he certainly answered those questions and then some. He said, what's there not to love? You're playing the game that you love. Night in and night out. It's a passion game. Kevin, no one questioning his motor now. The best offensive rebounder in the league, Doris. Thank you. Here's Drummond following the basket by Kyle Zinger. Drummond in the post. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Dirk Nowitzki picks up that one. And you look at how much ownership can invent the team's fortunes the first 20 years for the Mavericks. They cracked 506 times, but they've done it in every season under current ownership. Well, I know ownership is important, partner, but come on now. They do have Dirk Nowitzki, and he has a lot to do with that winning record well said, as well. well but no, no question about it. The Mavericks are clearly a first-rate franchise, and everybody from ownership on down can take pride in that. Off target with his three. Well, with that much space off the pick, you've got to drop that in. Yeah, you got to make that one. I mean, that's a high-quality shot you should make nine out of ten times. And that one's good. Monroe's got his second bucket of the night. Boy, what a significant turnaround here in the second quarter after only making 40% from the field in the first. To the paint. Chandler down low. Defended by Drummond. Stolen by Monroe. Here's Jennings. He had 13 points in the win against San Antonio. And yeah, no question, you look at his assist totals. I mean, they tell you what a nice job he was doing of really spreading that ball around. Now here's Jennings. Five-point lead, the biggest of the game. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. Over the last month, let's see how the Mavericks fared in the NBA rankings. Second in three-point field goal percentage. Fourth in scoring. And they also show up top five in team field goal percentage. That's excellent. Actually, that's almost, that's elite level. Man, Clark, you know I love the long ball. The way they've been shooting that three-point line is really fun to watch. I mean, they're, they're spreading the floor, uh, they're sharing the ball, and they're moving the ball inside and out. You get that inside-out game going, and it's much easier to get open looks from the three-point line. Play on the clock. It'll go, and the Detroit lead is cut down to just three on the basket from Chandler. Excellent work offensively to get that shot attempt into a can't-miss area. There's 48 seconds left now here in the second. Over to the wing. Singler outside. And stolen by Parsons. How the Mavericks moving it up. Parsons got the ball. And stolen by Jennings. Twenty seconds left now here in the second. Meeks dishes to Jennings. Six on the shot clock. Fires it up. And it's off the back rim. No good. Now Rondo looking for his first basket still in this one. Now he's one of the best in the league when it comes to executing that lead pass. Jennings drives in. And no good trying to get that one. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Pistons lead by one.
Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. You look at Kyle Singh. What a contribution. And what was most impressive was that his decision making and, and shot taking was very disciplined and efficient. Really an excellent half. Yeah, that's exactly right. Whether it's been from mid range or in tight, he is taking only what the defense has given him, and he's not trying to do too much. I love the flow and rhythm he's playing with here. Monte is the two with Parsons playing the small forward. Dirk and Chandler up front, and it's Rondo in at the one spot. So that's who Rick Carlisle starts the second half with. Singler outside. I'll tell you what, for what's really a, an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. It's Ellis on the wing. Rondo kicks to Ellis. Pass to Parsons. Back to Ellis. Just find the shoot. For the lead, and he hits the jump shot. Ellis has got the opening bucket to start the second half for the man. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck-and-neck neck game. Sure has been. I mean, guys, momentum is hard to come by in this one. I mean, it seems like one team gets the lead, and then the other one storms right back. Yeah, that is evidenced by the eight lead changes we've seen so far. Brandon Jennings acquired in a sign-and-trade by the Pistons last season on a three-year, $24 million contract. Jennings probably expecting more in terms of the deal. Uh, but, uh, look, maybe it was a wake-up call for him. You know, he has not been part of a winning team yet. And generally speaking, you know, stats alone don't get you max contracts. You know, stats and wins are what do that, and that's what's next for Jennings. Pistons have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. Well, the season numbers for this club are really low. I mean, this is something that the team has been focusing on. They've got to improve. And, Kevin, it's something they've been working very hard to correct in the change. I mean, they know how important it is to fix that inability at the free throw line. Dallas making a switch here. Harris has checked in. And a switch here also for Detroit. Yurepko's checked in. Harris kicks to Ellis. Back to Harris. Ellis outside. Parsons outside. Six to shoot. alley -oop try. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Boy, in a close game especially, those plays really hurt. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. Craig Smith, he's checked in for Chandler. Villanueva comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. Jefferson's checked in for Chandler Brunskis. And Morea subbed in for Monte Ellis. Caldwell Poe passes to Jennings. No good. Now Dallas takes it the other way. And it's the Mavericks on the break. And so he draws the foul on the shot on a trip to the line to shoot two. Way to play in attack mode and get inside. And you know, if you're on defense and you're going to foul, make sure it's a good one. They did, preventing the and one. Both shots good from the strike. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. On the wing, Singler. And again, it's the Pistons missing. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Here's Jefferson. Berea dishes to Harris. And Jefferson wide open. He shoots. And the three off target. Out of bounds. Dallas takes possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. Jody Meeks. He's checked in for Detroit. Jody Meeks. Smith sets the pick for Harris. Into Smith. Outside for Jefferson. Again, the miss by Jefferson. Well, I think he had all the space he needed. He just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Outside Jennings, dishes it to Yurepko. There's the pick. Beeks, good. And the Pistons lead by one. And Clark, a great competitive game so far. Yeah, tit for tat. I mean, back and forth, plenty of lead changes, an excellent play. These two teams, guys, look so evenly matched to me. I think this could go right down to the wire. And the Pistons making a change here. Monroe's checked in. Looking at the Pistons, Kevin, let's see how they performed over the last month in the NBA 
league rankings. Fourth in rebound, fourth in steals. And they're in the top 10 in fewest turnovers per game. And they really do emphasize taking care of the ball. And you put all those things together, and that makes this a very tough team. And what really jumps out at me is the rebound part. This is a team that, that controls the paint. Uh, if you're going to miss a shot, the ball seems to be theirs almost every time. That allows their transition game to get going. And then at the offensive end, they'll pound you on the offensive glass as well. And the Pistons with possession here. Following the score by Dallas. There's Jennings with the three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Villanueva's got his third rebound on the night. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Smith. Craig Monroe with the rebound. Monroe's got three rebounds now in this one. And Singler kicks to Jennings. From downtown. And that's good. Jody Meeks for three. Meeks got five points now in the quarter. But you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. Definitely a two-for-one situation here, guys. Yeah, the wise move would be to find themselves a quick shot right away. Harris kicks to Berea. Down low. Out to Harris. From the arc. Rebound, Detroit. Drummond's got three rebounds so far in the game. You know, something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound totals are, are almost identical. No separation there. Not yet, anyway. Now here's Jennings. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet for him. Monroe's shot is good. Inside the villain away from and count the basket he is fouled and he's going to the line for one more. How did he get that to go? Even after the whistle, I like the awareness, the alertness, and the presence of mind to finish the play. And the Mavericks will go for a different look here. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. That's good from Villanueva. Here comes Brandon Jennings. With one on the clock, Brandon Jennings gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. What a great play to sacrifice his body and take the hit. Yeah, I thought that was excellent awareness and anticipation to beat him to the spot there. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. This Saturday, January 10th, Dirk Nowitzki and the Dallas Mavericks take on Chris Paul and the Los Angeles Clippers. Be there. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Well, it had to be this play, don't you think, Kevin? Sure. Uh, this is just a phenomenal pass. Made the defense look like no idea what was going on. What precision with that pass. Beautiful. And on the four for Detroit here in the fourth. DJ Augustine out there with Caldwell Pope. Then it's Karan Butler. Then there's Yurebko. And it's Tolliver in at the five spot. Yurebko, the pass to Tolliver. Chandler with the defensive effort. The Mavericks trailer. Parsons dishes to Rondo. Now here is Augustine. There's the pick. To the inside. Rondo with the steal. Ellis outside. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. Wow, fans just getting their money's worth tonight. Really entertaining ball game. It has been. The margin separating these teams has been paper thin. Monte Ellis a scoring combo guard, but the highest career scoring average ever, Steve, for a player never to be selected as an all-star in this league. Yeah, he's always been on that borderline. Some of it, Kevin, has to do with, you know, he's only been on a winning team three of his eight seasons. And two of those in Golden State, and then, of course, last year in Dallas. But you also think about the depth in the backcourt of the Western Conference. 
Boy, it's tough to, to make that all-star team. Augustine against Rondo. The kick outside to Butler. Will not go. This is off the front eye. And you know, for Ellis, at times he's been criticized as a volume scorer and not a great defender. Sometimes these labels that players get are hard to shake, whether they're true or not. But I think you can see improvement in Ellis's game in both areas. And if you can help the Mavs win big, I think he could be an all-star. Should be an all-star. Augustine with it. Now Chandler defending. Caldwell Pope kicks to Augustine. Just five on the clock. Here's Tolliver. The basket is good. The assist from Augustine. Tolliver's got it all tied up now for the Pistons. Come on. Dallas calls timeout. You look at Ellis defensively, quick hands, great in passing lanes. And a lady's done better one on one. I think playing for a detail minded coach like Rick Carlisle has helped him at that end of the court. So Detroit going with an almost entire new group here. Drummond's checked in for Tolliver. Monroe comes in for Eurepko. Singler, he's checked in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Jennings in for Augustine. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Yes, thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Rick Carlisle was saying to the team. He told his squad, listen, guys, it's close. It's about execution here. If we do that, I like our chances. No hero ball. Just trust each other and make the simple play. Kevin? Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Six to shoot. Nobody near Parsons. Hands it from downtown. And the Mavericks lead by three. That's demoralizing. They needed a stop there, and instead, they give up three points on an open look. Rondo against Jennings. A shot by Butler. Nobody around. That doesn't go either for Butler. Nobody near him. He'll normally make that one. Ellis kicks to Rondo. Feeds it to Nowitzki. Dallas moving it around. Out to the right wing. Goes up the baseline. That one wide left. Pistons trail by three. Butler attacking. Misses from close range. That's an easy shot there. That's a shot that he should make more often than not. Ellis outside. 133 left in the fourth quarter. He dishes it to Nowitzki and stolen by Drummond. It's three on three on the fast break. Now the pass to Butler. All sorts of time. He squares up and sinks it. That one just took the air right out of the crowd. Yeah, he simply said, sit down and keep quiet with that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Nothing coming out of these fans now. Continuous Caldwell Pope. He's checked in for Butler. And it's Ellis penetrating. Nobody near Parson. Good, and the assist goes to Ellis. And that's now nine points for Chandler Parson. Pistons trail by four. Drummond sets the screen for Jennings. He kicks it to Caldwell Pope. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Here's Chandler. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. I'd say that shot was well within his range. <laughs> you think so? I mean, I was pretty good from two feet in there myself. That's a gimme there. Screen by Monroe. The drive by Jennings. Monroe, the pass to Drummond. So the first one drops, and that brings them within five. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. Chandler with the screen on Singler. And it's Ellis penetrating. Here's Parsons. And so he ends a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. He drops the first one and that increases their lead to six. So he goes 
goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. And as long as they continue to do this kind of work at the foul line, the lead should be safe. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Here's Singler. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Now Ellis. Kicks to Rondo. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just steak knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline, of course. Kevin, I'm here with Monte Ellis. Monte, when the coach looks over this tape, how do you think he's going to comment on the team defense you guys played tonight? Almost oh, a lot. You know, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot that we'll see on the film that, you know, we really don't realize, you know, during the course of the game. But I know it's going to be tough. But, hey, we came out with the win. Felt great to uh, play in front of the fans. Great to get back in the swing of things. Came out with a win. The film never lies. Kevin, back to you. Doris, thank you. And for Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us as Jordan presents our player of the game, Chandler Parsons.